Well, today Avada introduced a brand new feature that includes a live front end editor with the Avada theme. Today in their 6.0 version, the Fusion Builder now has the option to have a front end live editing experience. Now, you guys have known me personally. I've never really been a fan of Avada. I never really liked it. I mean, to me, it was a decent theme, but I'm like, I'd rather use Divi or, or Brizzy or Elementor because I wanted the front, end, the front end experience. And in this new update they had, they recently introduced that. So in this video, I'll be talking about it. I'll be reviewing it. And I'll also be showing you what I really like about this new update they introduced. So this is my website right here. And this is the Avada Driving School. You actually get, a, um, you actually get two new templates with the new 6.0 update as well. So right here we have the Fusion Builder Live. So if you wanna go ahead and edit your site, you can just click on that and start editing it. Now they still do have the front and the back, wait, they still do have the front end editing experience and the back end editing experience uh, if you still want to design your site from the back end. So right here, I'll click on Fusion Builder Live and after that, I'll show you the back end and I'll basically show you what you used to be able to do or what was the only option and now what you can do uh, with the front end experience. Now, one very big thing I really like about this is the fact that you can actually customize the theme options and the page builder at the same time. So you know how before it was very frustrating, you had to go design the page, close it, so you have to go to the theme options. You can do everything right now from this, uh, from your interface right here. So for instance right here, we have the theme options and uh, the thing I really like most about this is the fact that you can see how the menu looks with the design of your of your website. So it's kind of hard to kind of accommodate both of those at the same time. So you can say, hmm, you know, I like this, I like this with this, I like this with this, I like this menu with this, etc. And then again, you can also design the site at the same time. So I really do like the fact that you can customize the theme features while you're also building the website at the same time. So right here we have Drive with Nevada, you know, and it's pretty simple, you know, easy to use. And the live and experience for it is pretty simple. Now right here, I want to go ahead and add in a button below that. So right here, I'll just click on add an element below and put in a button. Here, I'll go ahead and put an enter. And then right here, we can go ahead and customize that button right here. So uh, we can go ahead and you know change whatever you want on the design. You can put like uh, the button type. I do like that 3D look. Ooh, I do like that, that is pretty cool. Uh, right here, button size, you can change this, etc. So you can actually see what you're doing. And I really like that because I'm going to show you the back end experience at the end of this video and show you what, what, what you what you had to do before. But uh, I do like this editing experience. So I've basically shown you how you can add a module. Now let's talk about I want to add in a second row right here. So over here on this little plus section right here, I'll click on add a container, plus two. And cool, we have a new row. Now right here, I can already tell you guys right now that we need more space right here. So right here in the container options, I wanna to go to the uh, design and I wanna add in some padding right here. So I'm adding some padding to the front, I'm sorry, to the, the top and the bottom. Uh, right here, I'll click on add in elements. I'll put in a flip box right here. And you can see that we can go ahead and you know we can design, we can design it, et cetera. So right here, we can go ahead and just say, okay, you know, we can design it, et cetera, all the options right there. Uh, if I wanna add an element below that, I'll just simply put an add in elements. We'll go ahead and put in a text block. Uh, right here, I'll just go ahead and grab in some dummy contents. Now, one thing to note is that this, this um, builder also has the right click feature as well. So when I right click on it, I can edit, save, clone, remove, copy, etc. cetera. And um, that was actually a feature that Elementor released like way later. So this builder is kind of watching their competitors and you know they're watching everyone, they're learning. I do wish they had the padding feature, which is the thing that Divi has where you can just basically like, you know, drag it, drag the uh, the padding back and forth, etc. cetera. Uh, they don't have that yet, but uh, I think, you know, after time goes, uh, they will introduce it. Now guys, also remember that this just came out. So if you run into problems, if there's something that you're just like, oh, this sucks, just remember this just came out today. So we have to give them the benefit of the doubt. But for first impressions, I will say that I'm pretty impressed. You know, I think this is something that's, um, I can show someone how to use it and they'll walk away saying, saying, okay, I know how to use this now. This was not that difficult, etc." cetera. Uh, over here, button styling, I'll just say, you know what? I wanna go ahead and I wanna put this in the center and there you go. So we have this whole section right here. And of course you have the option to clone the column, save the column to a library, delete the column, or you can even go ahead and drag it. Like, let's see if we can drag it. Like, let's see if I can do that again. Did that work? Okay, I'm still I'm still learning on how to actually uh, drag all the elements. So let me see if I can go ahead and do it like this right here. I think that's there we go. So you have to do it like that. Sorry, I was 
I, I, I've been using this page builder for about an hour, so I, I'm still not the best with it, but uh, you guys get what I'm saying. It, it's not uh, it's not that difficult to learn. It still, it still does have, you know, nothing's perfect when it first comes out, but I do like the fluidity of the builder. I think that it's fluid. I think that when I say fluid, I mean that it's not clunky. It's not like difficult to, to drag stuff around the screen. Uh, right here, you can see, we can just go ahead and just edit something. So get behind the wheel, simple, easy and simple. Simple. Now, again, I'm really, um, I'm really uh, glad they introduced this feature because um, before I was never really a fan of Avada. I never really liked to use it because I just felt the visual experience was, well, they didn't have a visual experience. They only had the back end. So uh, this new update for Avada really is going to make its competitors kind of eye and saying, hmm, what are they going to introduce next? You know, what are they going to do next? And I'm sure uh, Avada is doing the same thing. So uh, I do like this new front end experience with, uh, with Avada. If you want to go ahead and check it out, there is a link below to purchase it. Uh, it's actually the number one theme on Envato market. Personally, I never really was, again, I was never a fan of it because I just, I've used it before. And when I would compare front end editors to Avada, it was like, I can't go back to Avada, but uh, Avada, again, they saw their com their competition. They said, hey, you know, maybe we should introduce a front end editing experience. So in that regard, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they did. And the editing experience is actually pretty simple to use. It's not difficult. I just showed you how to add a column, how to add a row. We made some changes. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and change any section right here, container options, background, you can see we have the options right here. So right here is the background option. We can go ahead and remove that. We can go ahead and put in something else or even add in a specific, uh, so we can add in a specific color, et cetera. So you guys, you guys get the point here. So uh, it's not difficult to learn. Also, this comes with around, uh, I wanna say how many demos it comes with. Let's go ahead and exit it to the back end right here. I'll go ahead and leave this. We'll go ahead and take a look at the demos and also the back end. So, I mean, guys, this is this is what we had before with the Vada. So, let me, let me show you. Like, this is to me, this was like the Twilight Zone. It was like walking into a Twilight Zone for developers and designers, saying, "What is this?" So, right here, you can see that this is how you have to design the website before, and I, this is why I was never a fan of it. I was just like. Uh, there's just so many buttons and options here. I, I just never really, I never liked it. But a lot of developers like to only use the back end, and a lot of you know that's their preference. So it's like, well, if you would just want to use like this, you know, this is that that's your your thing. But uh, this is why I never really promoted Avada too much, is because I mean, look at this. I don't know what's going on here. I just. I, it, it looks like a Dr. Seuss's nightmare, you know, <laughs> like, but uh, still, you know, it's, it's, it's a very good start in the right direction. So over here, we have uh, some, some options right here with the Fusion Builder, the Fusion Slider. So over here under the uh, Avada options right here, we have demos. Now you do need to install like the Avada Core and also their Avada Fusion Builder. It is two plugins. And here's a list of some of the demos that you get. Again, you can always go ahead and click on preview right here and you go ahead and check them out before you add them to your website. And they do actually have all of the pages. So it's like the home, the about, the services, the contact, etc. cetera. Uh, my personal opinion about these designers, they're okay. They're not the, you know, they're, they're solid, but they're not the best. Definitely not the best, but they are, they are solid. You know, uh, this would work for a website. This would work. Um, while they're not the best, it's still, let's go check out this one. Let's, let's go see who, who's the best designer on theme for us. Let's, we should have a little competition, you know, find out who's the best, but, uh, over here, yeah, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, <laughs> so, uh, again, you know, be sure to check out the, um, the Avada theme, you know, um, I might be doing more tutorials on this theme since they introduced the live end editing experience, because again, uh, before I was just saying, guys, I'm not going to promote this because it only has a back end editor. But, uh, now that the fact that you can, you know, design the theme options <clears throat> and also, uh, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, guys, it's really hard to talk all the time like that, so it's not easy. I make it look easy, but it, it, it's not, you know. But um, <clears throat> here we have the, um, you know, the options and everything. So, um, you know, let me know your experience with Avada. You know, if you have Avada right now, uh, let me know your experience with them. How is their support? Do you think the company looks out for their customers? They have, they do have a Facebook group with a lot of people in it, so. Now, I know they actually have a lot of communication with their clients, and that is good. That is good. I know a lot of their customers are going to have a lot of questions about the front end editing experience because if they have around 500,000 customers or around there and they're all using the back end, some of them might not like the front end experience. 
But then again, you know, today uh, as we're as we're developing and as we're uh, you know seeing more page builders come out and more themes, I think everyone's moving to the front end ending experience. I don't think many themes are going to just offer only back end. So um, in that aspect, you know, I do like the Vada theme. I do like what they've done. I I still be waiting for things like the um, the padding feature. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what this company does. But let me know your experience with Avada. Let me know what you think about this update. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's going to affect the other page builders such as Divi, Brizzy, and Elementor? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys all later.